Alright guys, welcome to this video, this is the 48 volt setup for a Jetson Boat Pro, this is one of the standard upgrades that you should be doing if you want more speed, range, and whatever, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm a, I'll go over very quickly on like what I have that's currently plugged and played right now, um, the, the bike handle, definitely a big upgrade that you're going to need. Um, it's it's just going to give you more room to free up. If you're going to run a lot of stuff on your, your handle, definitely. Um, mostly all of this is from Brandy Rides because he's the one that did everything. So he was like kind of like the test dummy for doing all this. But his setup is done way much better than mine is. Um, but yeah. So most of the stuff, the mods and support, like, he's the one that recommended And, you know, you purchase every now and then that whatever catches your eyes. But anyways, um, bike handle, definitely. Um, thumb throttle, uh, I'll come back to this. Um, yeah. And then, um... Suspension seat is definitely a huge upgrade. I highly recommend it. It's going to get rid of a lot of, like, ugly, uncomfortable, like, bumps on the road. Also, the seat is a great addition and complements it very so well. And then also, the front suspension fork, which is a highly, highly huge upgrade. If you're planning on hitting a lot of, like, small bumps and all that, and uh, the factory one does no justice it's it's like you eat that with like like a damn i don't know man but anyways yes definitely huge upgrades on the suspension is just gonna make your whole biking life uh, more enjoyable uh the bike rack is temporarily a lot of people run this to mount their batteries on but not me i don't like this look it's just it's awkward it's i say it's ugly um so yeah definitely uh, now to the specs, the performance-wise. Um, this is a 22-amp controller from JB Bike Parts. Uh, this is the modded one. Um, it's good. It's 30, uh, 36 volts, if I can focus. Yeah, 36 volts and 48 volts. Uh, it'll, it can read both uh, voltage that you are trying to put in. It's going to read off of the battery. Um, and that will complement also the hub motor. So this is a plug and play. You could get it on their website. It's like it runs uh, somewhere around like a hundred and something dollars. Uh, also comes with the LCD screen. It works. And oh yeah, damn it, I forgot. I disconnected. But yeah, definitely. Um, um, yeah, uh, there's a little bit of issues with the controller. Um, keep saying that's full battery, but. The battery on here says that it is halfway, so there's something going on with either controller or something that I don't have hooked up correctly. But yeah, um, this is a 48 amp, uh, 48 volt, uh, 14 amp hour battery. It's it's decent. It's my test dummy. That's the reason why it's kind of messed up like this. I don't really care about this battery, but it's just temporarily. Uh, it dropped while I was doing a couple of test runs. Um, but it still works. It somehow still happens to work. Uh, this is a 1500 amp, uh, no, 15, 1500 watt motor. Uh, got it off of AliExpress. Um, if you can get the thousands and up, good luck. Try to get them on eBay and Amazon. AliExpress and maybe Alibaba.com. They're the one that carries like the higher wattage motors. So you're gonna have to like literally like shop around on AliExpress. Um, if you want the exact same one that I got, uh, I'll drop a link, but it does say that it is 48 volts right there, 1500 watts. Uh, this, the supplier for this, he, he, he done a great job. He's answered some of my questions. Um, yeah uh there's also the stock 30 uh 350 watt mo um hub motor um if you're gonna swap motors 
you're gonna lose power uh, pedal assist and that's the thing I'm trying to get fixed is that I have another sprocket right here and my original thought was that it was gonna clear but when I did you see it's already colliding with the frame so I have to think of two things either I shave this down to like however much or I take off that one but the thing is, I don't know how to take that one off. I probably need a special tool, but I don't want to even bother going through that. Um, yeah, uh, battery wise, when you get a battery, depending on how you want to do your setup, you can route it on the rear rack. I hate this look, it's ugly. It just shows that you're probably lazy, but I mean, everybody has their own opinions. I like having it look stock as much as possible. So this battery is 14 amp. It does not really fit in here. It does not, there's not a lot of room. The serving your controller might be huge. Um, the bigger your amps on the controller, the bigger it's gonna sit in here. So that's why a lot of people who run big controllers, they end up running a smaller battery or they end up running a bike rack and yeah so yeah uh definitely when you do get a bigger size battery you gotta do some modifications it's not required to do all mod uh all, all battery size but the bigger the battery the more you have to modify definitely i have to cut down here cut there so on and such forth now i do have another battery over here this is the workshop electronics battery run by joseph he's on facebook but um i also is on his discord and he makes custom fitted battery this is a 48 volt 15 amp battery this is specifically custom to fit inside that frame and housing in there so i don't have to run the bike rack that's if you want to pay the extra money which thing is joseph does a really great job uh designing these batteries to be custom fitted um why i'm not using this one this one has a bad bms so joseph is making a new battery uh, redoing all his testing so it's going to be a while i'm not much in a rush you know time is quality and i want joseph to have a very good quality to come out so that's why i'm running this temporary big fat ugly blue one but anyways now coming to the wiring diagram uh now oh my god starting to sprinkle but yeah uh the wiring diagram this is the thumb throttle this is the one i've been having trouble for now is that i have everything connected there's supposed to be a brown wire that connects to this but i don't have that wire um shiva says that he had he's done this before i had the exact same thumb throttle but the thing is that he has a brown wire i don't have a brown wire and a lot of people who's been doing this tutorial either they only run three wires from the throttle or they have that brown wire that i don't have so yeah uh only do this obviously uh when you're doing this setup uh you're not going to use any of these factory controls anymore i think i threw the other one away but yeah you're not gonna be using those anymore so you can just get rid of them and then you can just use these to take its place um and then when you're doing uh, the way how you're gonna do the routing of the wires is that obviously all the factory ones they're still gonna be in here and they're all still gonna route through the frame and so on and so forth and um what is it uh this big fat wire for the lcd screen you're i'm gonna have to fish it through with like a metal hanger um that's the only way i'm gonna have a clean look on this um same thing with the um with the hub motor you're gonna have to fish it through but this one is easier because you just fish it up and it comes out right here this one requires a lot of play because you got stuff in there it comes out there yada 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 and whoop de whoop so yeah but uh, definitely a lot of this is plug and play very simple um this is the best i say upgrade if you're not planning on going too crazy and you want a 
like a balanced performance and so on and so forth. This is like probably like the best setup you could ever do for getting your money's worth it. Obviously, people are just going to say, oh, you know, why don't we just get a, like a better battery or uh, a better bike that has better specs? Honestly, a lot of the fucking bikes out there, there's there's different ones. I want something small because I'm planning on doing a lot of traveling. And this is small enough that it can perform as capable as some of these bigger and commuter e-bikes out there without breaking the size and so on and so forth um but yeah uh damn i don't know who's screwing me but yeah definitely uh anything else um yeah that stock battery get rid of it it's it's trash it's it'll, it'll last you a good while but it's just trash it's not gonna be there in the long run uh damn man those kids are going at it in the house um yeah uh, don't ever swap out your hub unless you want more speed on going uphill or something else. Because you're going to lose power, um, pedal assist, and what is it? Yeah, and you got to chop off the wires to do some modifications on it like I did right there. Technically, what I did was just reuse the um, connections and splice them together and solder them in. Um, yeah. It's not that hard very simple it, the tools and equipments are very simple um if you take out a couple pins from the connectors i say use a glue gun it does a great job of keeping them in secured a dremel will help out a lot with cutting out the the frame and obviously smoothing out some areas in there um what else cordless screwdriver this is a biggie i wish i bought that earlier well like long time ago but this helps out with like you just having to turn it like like the screws manually by yourself and they do the job perfectly and leaves a lot of time and manual labor for you but definitely uh this is all the crap don't worry about it i mean this is all gonna get cleaned up i'm still tinkering with this but yeah definitely i do highly recommend you guys to upgrade your stuff if you have to spare extra money to even do these upgrades but if you don't care much for performance and you want more comfortability and function wise i definitely recommend the seat suspension and also the fork upgrade there's no rear suspension upgrade that we cannot do because this is a fixed frame uh, bike if you're gonna step up to having a rear suspension you're gonna have to look at the jetson haze and that is yeah i don't know there's not much you can do with that bike yet i don't know I, nobody's really touched it on any hands but definitely these three mods seat suspension and front fork those are the biggest upgrade but other than that i mean that's probably about it but this is the setup, guys. Hope you guys learned a thing or two.